Welcome to Factorio. Let's start automating. My name is Nila. So this is episode 21 of our Let's Play campaign. So when I started up the uh, the game this morning, just to take a look around and see what we were doing, I noticed that some idiot was handcrafting more than a thousand green circuits. And then I remembered, oh yeah, I was trolling you yesterday. So um, when you say A, you got to say B. So I am now handcrafting the rest of these and there's nothing you can do to stop me. I mean, maybe there is, but please don't. Uh, what I want to do today is actually make uh, this one. I don't really know if I want more of these, but I certainly want this one to keep crafting. This one will keep up. Yep, it will. Okay, so what we want to do today is uh, I want to continue our expansion of iron and copper coming inbound because that's kind of the important part right now. Right now, we want to scale up this part so that it actually works. Uh, we have, oh, right, this is nice. And we also need to do some upgrade planning. So this is the upgrade planner we're using. And uh, it looks good. I will get all of this line upgraded to red. We knew we had to do that long ago. That one is a bad example, so please don't look at it. There. So that one gets up here. Uh, this one actually should be scale down to a two belt and then make it red that i can do by making i suppose i can do that by making the two middle ones red and then starving the other ones yeah that's gonna be how we, oh hello little one so we're gonna starve the other one so that's basically sometimes you gotta do these kind of things where you scale things up this one can never provide more than two full red belts anyway so all about starving the outer ones at this point um this doesn't really make a difference let's start to take this out there and what do we want to do with this first of all i want to make sure that i repair and then i make a lane bouncer so that whatever comes out will be split evenly among the two lanes this is uh, absolutely one of my favorite things to do there except you know it has to be red kind of the only thing that makes sense here is for this one to be red and it's still pointing the right direction great so uh by the way we don't have robot ports all the way out here so that's not happening I'm going to pick you up and then I unfortunately have to pick this up ourselves. Uh, that's not great, is it? Well, some of it we have to do. I don't think I, I'm at a point where I want to get my robo ports all the way out here. Or maybe I am. I have 18 robo ports. Maybe I am. Can I... What if I put robo ports down here? Will they, will they hit? Yes, they will hit. All right. So let's do that. Um... That one, that one. Actually, that makes no sense. I have to do it manually here. And I'm just alternating. Don't know why, but I did that previously, so I'm gonna do that now. Yeah. Shooty, shooty, shooty. That's the C key you shoot with. And. That actually gets us exactly what we want. Perfect. Let's also get one up here. Basically, at this point, I'm just trying to spread my robo ports everywhere. And I'm going to get this one myself. Here, might as well. As we run back, we can run on the belts. They'll be made slightly faster. Do I still want to take these out? Well, the robots should be picking them up, honestly. You know, they are doing upgrades, but I'd much rather have them do something else, though. I'd much rather have them do deconstruction of the outer lane here. And deconstruction of the outer lane there. Now, this is where things get a bit dicey, though. Because I have two blue lanes, or two red lanes in here. That's 30 per second. 30 per second here as well. And I need to put it into this location. And in order to do that, I want to make a balancer 
that goes. Uh, actually, you know what? Is the time for us to just go all in on red belts? I think it might be. There. Doesn't that mean I don't need these anymore? You know what? We take an executive decision here. I don't want to use yellow belts anymore. And I'm going to regret it. I always regret it. I always change. When I change, I always regret it. I always go like, oh, maybe I can't really support that right now. Anyway, it's done. So what I need to do is I need to take a balancer inbound that gets four lanes in. And then eventually somewhere out here, it gets six lanes out. That's kind of tricky to do. So we'll just try to see if I can build it. Eh. Uh, It's, this is where you really need, these are the four inputs. I don't know, is it going to be like that? I guess it is. Uh, that one. Yeah. Yes, that looks good, except it's not actually where I want to make it. I want to cut it and then I want to make it so there, that would be number two, or up there would be number three. Yes. So let's make it there instead. I'm just going to take this out and rebuild it in a new location and then I'm going to reroute things here. So this thing is a balancer and my recommendation would be this is a good time for you to start learning about blueprints and getting blueprint because uh, there is no sane person who can remember how to build these kind of things and sometimes you want like various balancers i have done some very bad balancers in this uh, playthrough because i just didn't want but it's really nice to be able to to just say all right i need to balance the belts and by balance the belts i mean take the input here this input needs to be spread out evenly the four inputs need to be spread out evenly to the six outbounds that's pretty uh important thing to be able to do that one and there and it should work what could possibly go wrong there and then also let's get a better intersection here uh, i need these to be emptying as well They're just grabbing all my... Yeah. Go, 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 I'm picking this up myself because reasons. Because I'm actually waiting for that one to complete. Or to empty a bit more. Alright, so the why do I make it six? Because I want... Let's also build this one. and build it up there i was holding shift so that i could place the other one so each of these only take one belt and if i upgrade it it will still only take one belt uh, it'll take only one red belt so i'm gonna build this one that should be fine and now i can take this thing And I go straight in. Then I can take goes into that one. Kind of feels weird that this one spreads out here, this one spreads in there. Yeah, it does. It would be much more logical if it was like this. It would. Yeah, that makes more sense. And I know I'm taking red belts and putting them into green to red belts and putting them into yellow belt. That is intentional right now. Because that's gonna be the next thing we upgrade. Here. And this one will go for the other one, which will be this. Right, so that will be a massive upgrade to our belts here. However, it, it's just um, 
it's just not really getting there, is it? Because what I'm doing now is I'm taking red belts into a location that can only consume blue belts. Oh, damn, <laughs> consume yellow belts. So what I need to do is actually need to do all of an upgrade on this part. If I can do all of an upgrade on this, then it should be fine, right? That's like 800 plus a lot. And it'll also upgrade my chest, which is not something I want. I'll take this one out. So always a good idea when you're planning to upgrade, just look through it and say, does that make sense? Yes, it does. So this one is the 192 steel furnace upgrades. This is the reason why I put took those out. Because I wanted the steel furnace builder to continue building and then I can do these. This will now basically double our iron production just like that. We are taking four red lines, that's 120 per second. And each of these lines was consuming, we did the calculation much earlier and found out that it can consume exactly 15 and produce exactly 15. Now I double the, I go from stone furnace to steel furnace, that's doubling the crafting speed from crafting speed one to crafting speed two, no, right hand side. And uh, no, here. But if I want to make sure that it can consume twice as fast, then I also need to, the belts to be twice as fast. And that's that they upgrade from yellow to red belt. So this whole thing, this is one of the strength of this design, in my opinion, is that you can build it early for the yellow belts and it works and it's at ratio and everyone's happy. And then you can upgrade it to red belts and it'll just be exactly the same design. No need to upgrade the design or anything. It'll just be the same. Now the no obvious logical next thing to do is make sure that the bus can be upgraded. So I'll just do this one. And maybe I'll miss something here. Oh no, yeah, I'll do this. Get it out there, get it out there. You can do it, you can do it. I want. I don't want to pick up a million iron in my inbox. Oh, look at that. We've actually built all of our green circuits. That's nice. Ah, see, that didn't take long. Did not even obstruct us in any of the work we did. Ha, ah, look at that. Cool. So, of course, this one also needs to be upgraded, but let's start by, mm, let's not start by anything. That's actually just, let's do this one. There. This iron belt is now upgraded to red all the way through. And that means we can, this one is actually working. You can see here, the belts are going in. They're going to spread, spread evenly. And of course, naturally, if we have four lanes in, we cannot support exactly eight lanes out. But my guess and take is that some of these are going to stall eventually, leaving these ones to open. Now, this one is a different beast altogether. This can also be upgraded, but you can see that this is actually fast enough to consume with a yellow belt. So if I want to upgrade this one, all I need to do is actually upgrade this, this, and and that one. Reason why? This one previously produced half a yellow belt, which will then be merged into half a yellow belt. That's not a problem. Now it's producing half of a, uh, now it's producing full yellow belt, which can merge into half of a red belt. That's, uh, that's the reason why, by doubling the speed of it. That's one of the things I really like about this design is that the upgrade is very cheap. This means you can just like that, with very little infrastructure investment, double our steel production. Great. That one, though, is not going to be cutting it because this needs to be able to work faster. But these belts can still remain yellow because it's going to be one full red belt in here into two yellow belts. There. Uh, this one is not working fast enough. But once we get it, then we have... Then I'm going to actually go up here and make sure that they merge together. I don't really like this idea, to be honest. Uh, I think there's uh, some flaws to this. 
I'm going to take this up. What I'm not liking about this is the fact that... Yeah. That it's too many places it's balancing. Doesn't make any sense to me. The quantity we're getting out here is still going to be less than a single belt because it takes five of these to go into a full belt. So, hmm. And that one could make sense. If and only if. But now I don't have any storage of steel. I don't think I want storage of steel, to be honest. I'm going to take this out. Do you want storage of steel? No, not really. I could take like one of those and I don't need it either. It's, there's no point in balancing and then merging. You need to merge and then balance. Otherwise you're just, you're balancing something that you're going to be, that is, will be inherently unbalanced afterwards. Let's get this out. Might get like a tiny bit of steel storage. No, I've, I don't think I ever need steel storage to be honest. I can't even imagine where I'd want steel storage. I mean, the only thing is like when I make in my my rocket silo, then I need 1,000 steel. But so be it. Just get it, right? Just get it. And there, this is now looking more like this is looking like it's too much. But that's because we were getting too much in here. Uh, it's this is now because it's not consuming enough. There we go. We now have almost a yellow belt. <clears throat> we need this is actually two so this is, yeah this is only going to be 40% of a red belt we need five red belts in to get one red belt out and I'm putting two red belts in so I'm getting 40% of a red belt out 40% of of 30 is a, who knows what it is no one knows it's 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 non unknowable all right, well, that's good. We forgot to just get that. No, we did not forget to get the science because we can't do any science. Isn't that just wonderful? Uh, the fact that we now... Okay, that's just a few of these. That's actually really good that I I can take those out. I want those in my inventory. All right, so what we've done now is we've met massively upgraded our iron production and doesn't do anything, but it will do something, I'm sure. Uh, because what we also have is upgrade our steel production, which is nice, and that will hopefully here, yeah, you can see it more and more goes down the belt. And we are going to need that later on. So what we want to do is maybe take a look at what we want. Uh, our next sort of big goal for this factory is, let's think. Uh, actually, I should put some stuff in my modular armor. That's a good idea. Do you have this tiny modular armor? It's not going to do much, but you know, it, it can do something. It has a tiny bit of area here. So what I want to put in could be a couple of roboports. One, two roboports and a couple of batteries. And then a lot of solar panels. Unfortunately, the one thing that we absolutely must have is this one, portable fusion reactor. This is the one that actually enables us to be useful with our personal roboport. I rarely have it before I get to this because I, don't, I just don't like the fact that I have to build solar panels and I find the solar panels to be lackluster at best. All right, so what do we want to build? We want to build some roboports. That means some batteries, steel, gears, and red circuits. I can take some red circuits here. I can apparently also take some green circuits there. That's that one. And then I need some iron gears that we can take here. It looks okay. I need to go to there and then I have steel as well. So all we need is batteries. We can get the batteries as well. I don't know if I maybe can get one set of legs. Maybe. I can, no, I can't because that's blue circuits. I don't have blue circuits. Boom. And now I can make two of these. Now this one is a perfect night vision goggles. This is part of the Afraid of the Dark mod. That's one mod that I have here. This mod is um, it's just making it easier for us to see at night. I don't think it's really a problem. We can just, uh, it just basically turns night into day. Don't really need it. Anyway, so that's, we can't build the power armor because it requires processing units and we can't do the processing units yet. It would be nice if we could though. Uh, let's, let's think about it. Could that be, that's probably gonna be the next thing we want to make. Yep, that's gonna be the next thing we have to make, make down here. 
in order for us to upgrade our build of this, we are definitely going to take, and this is where we use robots. I want this to be faster because blue circuits require a ton of. So that one will be, I don't know. Is it too big? Probably not, right? It's, but look how fast it just builds. Damn, I like those robots. And nothing here is blinking, so nothing is not built. Nothing is not built. Boom, just like that, we upgraded it. Of course, we're not really consuming anything, but that's it's still nice. So what this one will eventually start consuming more than a full belt. And this is why I need more here. Now, this one also should be upgraded, but as, the, as it is right now, this one plus this one just cannot in any way, shape or form produce enough to make it uh, viable to make it red. I can pretend it's red. You know what, I could, I could actually pretend it's red. I think I should do that because I will just strain our iron and I want to strain my iron build a bit more because right now the iron is not doing anything. So having it do this is good. That one. And then build this and build this one. Nothing more than this. Don't need to build this one faster because it can't support it anyway. But if I build this part, then I can at least, when the pull on the map, on the, when the draw is too fast, then it can at least empty the buffers. Good. Let's put some things in here. I can put these two. Yay. And <laughs> we're going to build some robot, some solar panels. They require normal solar panels. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to take a little stack of that. See how many we want of those. One, two. Uh, they are really useless. What about batteries? Can we also do some small batteries here? Personal batteries? I can do some good. No, I can't. One, two. I can make two of those. That could be like one, two. Here, and I could. That's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I don't like it. One, two, three. There we go. And I'm gonna grab some rubber ports if I can find some. Are they all busy? No, they're not all busy. So, so figure out which ones are not busy. Where are they? There are some who are idling. I'm going to grab some of these. It's kind of unfortunately, and I'm going to go here. I always put my robot ports in the lower right hand corner. So that's uh, you middle mouse button while you hold something in the hand. And then you can actually lock it to this position. Got more? Yep. And I think they can only take. 20, I think, right? Let's see. Uh, 10 robot limit. Yeah, this, it's not much. Yay! So now this means they might charge a bit during the day. This one takes one megawatt for robot recharge and max consumption two megawatts. This one can deliver 30 kilowatts of energy. It's not much. And get one, and then I get my two batteries here, and then we can, yeah. There. That should be our charge. Do we see these charging? Nope. It's also that nighttime, so that's probably it if you look. And look at how fast they actually upgraded. You know what? At this point, I think I just want all of this to upgrade. I mean, my robots are ready. Get, get working. It's one of those we can we can just give you a bit forward on this. Um here. I'll take nope. I'll take these out. And I also have my batteries. Nice. Boom. Actually I'd like him over here. And then the last one. So at daytime, we should be hopefully just getting a tiny bit up here. Look at all this coming back and they're putting it into the nice box here. This is very nice. Great. And the last one. Sweet. Let's see if that ever does anything. One thing that we could and probably should do is expand our perimeter defense. Ah, look at that. I built a path out here. Nice. Uh, for pretty much no reason. Boom. care about that one 
yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this idea at all that I have to build it like this. And I'm also, by the way, not particularly happy with my way of building roboports in this space. Uh, it kind of sucks. <laughs> what I want to do up here, that one, I really don't want to take all of them, do I? I guess I have to. Ugh. Cut. There. And then I should be able to build this one to continue further out. Okay, that doesn't work. Alright, let me uh, go up there myself. Do I have some stone... Do I have some things with me? Yes, I do. And there we go. Now that got into the area. Uh, let's grab some things we need. There's nothing we can do with research, so that's going to be the next thing we want to do. We want to scale up our research so we can yeah, build something better here. Let's take half of that. No, that's way too much. My robots are just really bad. So don't try relying on them. And let's see. I'm going to build this path up here. Because it takes too long for uh, the robots to bring these. Boom. Get over here. That will also help in terms of repairs. Yay! It works. It works. And my oil is coming in. Pick this up. And the other one got placed immediately. There. We can take that one. one and I guess I could just do something like this and have my my stupid robots do this and then I could also just make this very 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 bad perimeter defense but it's something right it's something my issue with this is that you know as you can see here nothing is placed here so I think I need to Request, do I have a military one? That one should not be there. That one's a military one. I can request uh, at all times 800. I should have picked those up. Oh, that's that's it might be a bit much. Oof, 8,000. Oops. Doesn't matter. I'm not really ever inside the network. Oh, yeah. Look at my robots. They're actually building stuff now. Boom, boom. And then we can go just over here and cut it out. My robots are not picking up these because they are already assigned. That one and one up for this one. And at some point, I guess I also need, not yet. Not great for this. Look at that. They are coming in. They are picking up this part. And am I getting inbound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're coming. They're coming. They're not coming in quick, but they are coming. I have to be careful about staying inside the orange marker. There. Now I can move further. There you go. We're getting some ammo inbound. So this is, uh, now I'm just babysitting them as they go out. Look at that one being completely off by one. Ha! <laughs> oh, I just love off by one errors. They are just my favorite. And stay in the, stay in the yellow area. There. Go further. Is this where the, no, no, not yet. Not yet. Here. Oops. Do I have repair packs? Yeah, I do. So my, I should actually be out repairing it when I scratch the surface. And we're getting a bit more. That one. Oh, by the way, we also need... Oh. Trees and rocks. 
right clicking to open this one in case you did not know that there that's some of my robots will be used for this careful careful yeah this is kind of just something you have to do make it out here and then i'm gonna put the rope, the, pair, the stuff I get in, I'm gonna put it here. And is this enough? No, it's not. Uh, I'm definitely needing one more. And I'm stuck in somewhere in the forest. Just like... There, much nicer. Up, that one. And then I think I'm just gonna go turn it away. Oh, that's too far. It has to be on this one. There. That gives us a nice bit radar coverage, and then I'm going to turn it down, and yeah, ish, yay, robots. Okay, just have to be careful about not getting out there. We haven't had any significant attacks. Yeah. And of course I now need... How close? Right click. Oh, no, 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 don't go out of this area. Uh, I'm going to walk back this way. What you really should do if you have any kind of trouble with biters is not this. This is not enough for a big dedicated attack. This is basically enough for just a small attack and also... Give me a warning so I can respond to it. It is not here to really fight consistent attacks. Uh, we are going to have more of a strategy to keep them, keep the biters. Oops, what? Oh yeah, that was uh, that was already put in. Oh, this one was already put in as well. Okay, so the strategy here is more along the lines of making sure that they are not in there so they don't consistently attack us because we can't really support that kind of uh, defenses. And what do I need now? Now I, oh, this one is actually built. Nice. Let's get that one just clean up. This location, yep. And you know what I need? I need to make sure that I can see my beautiful path here. So, dear robots, Clean this up. I don't like it. So as you can see, I'm also just really doing a lot of my uh, beloved robot abuse. This is one of the things you just do. Just get it done. And then uh, I don't have anything else that I need the robots to do right now. So it's not a problem for them to, to do this. Uh, this one, I somehow and for some reason decided that that's a good point to build it there. Whoops. Did I just kill myself? Yeah, I did. Lovely. Now I want way more on this side. Because if they attack, they will be coming in here. So this is where I built. I know. There, good. And let me just check. I don't want to have 800 in my inventory at all times. I want maybe like, uh, well, you know what? I can actually get any 100 in my inventory because I can just put it down here. Then it doesn't take up any space. Then I can put 600 here and then I only have 100 in inventory. So that means I will take 600. Good. And that's fine. Is this inside the network? Not really. 
All right, let's uh, stop wrapping or let's do let's wrap this one up here. So what have we done? We have upgraded all of our iron builds, uh, all of our builds here. They are good. Now they're really coming in. We can you can see how fast we can actually upgrade things because we have the robots. We just start preparing to get more throughput on the base. The next thing we want to do is make some blue circuits, which will need some sulfur, which we have and green circuits that we are just scaling up the iron and copper so that we can get more of that. So that's going to be it. Uh, we definitely need to move this at some point. Now that's we're just going to do that when the robots are idle again. So thank you for joining. I hope you're enjoying it. Hit the like button, hit, hit the share, you know, the drill. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care. Stay effective.